Hey, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. Well, made her back from holidays, back to work. Now it's back to the Thunderbirds. So, I hope everyone's well. We'll start it with that. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. A um, little slow getting going this morning. Went out for coffee. And my wife and I were down the Timmy's for a little coffee. That was a nice break. Uh, but now it's time to do some work. Uh, you probably heard the air dryer kicking in the back. Sorry about that, guys. So what I'm doing here today with this uh, little, uh, it's more of an update because I'm doing the floor pan on the driver's or the passenger side in this Thunderbird. Um, I'll take you in in a second to show you what's going on. It's not a big job. I'll hopefully have it mostly roughed in and show the uh, what I can of the end of it. But I mean, it's just a floor pan. So I think people have seen lots of floor pans put in. But this is just more of an update what's going on. So yeah, 6500 Thunderbird hardtop in the garage. I need to get it back all together. I've got parts for this car, interior parts all over the place. And it's, it's, it's a mess. So I want to get back together, the floor, the welding done in the floor. I have new carpets to put in it. I have a headliner that has to go in it. You might have remembered the video where I took the headliner out. But it has to get done and the panels all put back on because I want to get this car up for sale. Yeah, we had great time driving it around, but it, it was bought with the intent to sell and have, have a little cruise time and the intent to sell. So now it's time to sell. So I need to get it put back together. The car works good, but needs, uh, needs a little bit of suspension work. I mean, it, it needs everything. Like Nick said before when I first got it, yeah, it needs everything. Well, it does, but I'm just trying to get it up so the next owner doesn't have to deal with rust. If you don't have to deal with rust, it's much easier. So that's where I'm putting it. If there's a bit of mechanical work left to do, I'll let the new owner know what needs to be done and they can buy it or not buy it. But uh, I don't like passing on something that's rusty to someone. That's a, that's a lot of work and most people don't really deal well with rust. So I'll do the rust part, which isn't a lot on this car, but there's, there's some. So let's get into it and I'll show you where I am with the floor pan. All right, I've got the uh, seat out of it. Uh, I haven't got the new carpets put in yet. That's because I didn't get this floor done. So I've got the seat out. And I'm just getting ready to uh, replace this section. Now this floor is, uh, it's rusted, but it's not as bad as the other side was. And certainly not as bad as the convertible. So I already made up the pan to cover this whole thing. So since it is thinner, I'm just going to replace the whole thing. I think I'll see how it goes when I start cutting it out. There's a little bit of metal here on this uh, torque box cover to redo. But that's it. It's a pretty simple one, this one. And over here, uh, that's the floor pan I made. I made a few of those over the last few months. But uh, this one will be going in this one, in this car, the 65 hardtop. Got to get this car back, uh, put back together on the road. I've got some uh, sound deadening stuff uh, to put in. I want to do it all. The, the back floor pans of this car are really nice shape. I think I said that before, but they're not rusted at all. This one here must have gotten a bit of moisture in, like all these old Thunderbirds, and it's laid in there. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out, and you know the usual procedure start patching it up but this is uh, even the paint still on this part here so I'm not sure how far back I'm gonna go I mean really but it is rusted there so I have to go back that far anyway so why not just do the whole thing brand new but I think that's what I'll do and if you're you remember these um, just go underneath the inner frame rail there an inner structure rather they just go underneath and they tack weld up underneath there spot weld plug weld whatever you want to call it Along here is the frame rail, runs along right in front of these lines. That's why these lines are like this. Get back a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to try to stay away from the frame rail, but still keep the good metal. And then it has to go underneath this lip here, so it'll have to be uh, broken free from there. Let's get at her. Well, I decided this is where I'm going to cut first. The first cut will be here, and then I'll clean up those edges. And I'll have to fix that. And like I said, I'll fix under this inner structure here. And I think that'll cover, once I get it cut out, 
if I hit the frame, if I hit the frame rail here, well, I'll have to fix it because it's it's got some scale rust there, and I don't want to leave it. So, if I have to go over top the frame rail, well, then so be it. It's better to put new metal in than to leave a thin spot. But it feels pretty good up to about here. We'll see where it goes. Okay, uh, got her all cut out. I uh, rust treated with uh, metal prep all around and underneath here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all been rust treated. Now I'm going to let it sit 24 hours. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish up this floor pan. And that little bit of metal needs a strip put on there. I just took it right off because I said, well, it was thin there piece missing there so just take it right off put all brand new in but I think that's gonna be good well there she's coming along quite nicely I got the top welded most of the way around uh, go underneath and weld that little gap there this needs a piece put in and I found a hole right here it had, it had some uh, seam sealer on it so I'll patch that up small job no big deal there and then this has to be welded up from the bottom and uh, should be a solid floor again. And of course, seam sealer everywhere where I weld. I don't think I'm going to grind too much on the top. The bottom I'll probably grind to make it look better. But the top is fine and any place that had seam sealer will get seam sealer. And I try, generally try to do a pass of thin seam sealer over the uh, old welds once it's been uh, primed. There now, all in. She's all uh, welded, top and bottom. Put that piece in, welded it up nice and good. A couple of passes on it, actually, on that. Because I can't weld it from the bottom. Uh, spot welded in. Plug welded in, rather. I uh, tried, you'll see a couple of these high bumps there. I tried this as a Lincoln uh, spot welder tip. It may work on thin metal gauge, but I can't seem to get it to work on 18 gauge. Maybe... 2022 but uh, this metal's too heavy and I wanted to talk to you guys about this this hole now I've been thinking a lot about these holes <laughs> and uh, when I made it I left it in there I didn't cut it out is I uh, I don't see the purpose in cutting it out I will put the cap back on just to make it look the same even though it's all covered in carpet but and that mainly because I cut two holes in it already or drill two holes so I'll have to put something in there but uh, Nick was mentioning about those being uh, the purpose of those drain holes are when they dip these cars in the factory that they would have a place to drain that uh, corrosive uh, anti-corrosive uh, liquid out whatever it was I don't not sure what it was and that's why those were there well I didn't see how they protected anything in here on any of these cars I've worked on so far. So I'm going to leave it for now. Um, let me know what you think. Should I cut that out, make it look authentic at the bottom, or just leave it? I'll, put the, I'll fill the holes, or I'll, maybe I'll just weld the holes back in, and maybe I'll put the cap on. I'm not sure. If I put the cap on, I don't see the purpose because it doesn't do anything. And I don't see how, like I said, I don't see how it did anything for these floors anyway. They're all rusted out in the same places. So, I'm going to leave it filled for now. And you guys want me to cut it out? What do you think? Let me know. There, I got a nice coat of seam sealer on all my welds. And where the seam is, I redid this piece here. That place I patched up. Put some seam sealer over all that and uh, looks pretty good once it sets up a little bit I think this is uh, paintable within 20 minutes this stuff anyway this is the stuff I use Dominion Sure Seal brush on seam sealer it's uh, really creamy and smooth stays in the can a long time you keep sealing the can it'll go for ages without it drying out I just use a paint stick and a brush a little uh, chip brush and that's it um, so I'll uh, let that dry a little bit and then I'll hit it with some more black paint. You'll notice I painted it, by the way. And I don't know if I can show you underneath. I should try. Just hold on a second. Alright, there's the underneath. I hit it with some uh, asphalt uh, guard. 
well that's it I ground it all off and uh, yeah it's hard to tell I have the cars down low these cars are very very low well, that's it she's done underneath so there we go that was the underneath a very short hard to see clip so I'll put my seam sealer away get it sealed back up and well like I said I'll paint that and I'll start putting the uh, sound deadening material down and I'll put the seat the carpet back in and we'll start putting the interior back in this whole thing we'd like to see it all back together at some point she just looks pretty ratty in here right now all right guys thanks for watching and uh, everybody stay well and we'll see you in the next one